Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, I would like to share how to obtain the Marilyn series of e to power x sine x. We can first let fx be the function which is e to power x times sine x. At point x is equal to 0, e to the power of 0 is 1, and we times sine 0 is 0, which is equal to 0. And now let's differentiate the function f with respect to x. Since we have a product involved exponential function, then we can apply this trait. Firstly, we copy the exponential function ex. And next is to make a bracket. So what we have to do next is to copy the function left, which is sine x. And with differentiate sine x, we obtain cos x. Also, at point x is equal to 0, e to the power of 0 is 1. Sine 0 is 0 plus cos 0 is 1. So 1 times 1 equal to 1. Let's differentiate for the second time. Also, by using the same method, we have ex bracket copy the function sine x plus cos x and now differentiate sine we have positive cos differentiate cos we have negative sine let's simplify we should obtain e to the power of x sine x minus with sine x so no more and we have cos x plus cos x which is to cos x so at point x is equal to 0 we have 1 times 2 times 1 which is equal to to differentiate for the third time with respect to x, also copy the function ex and now copy the rest to cos x and differentiate we should obtain minus 2 sine x. At point x is equal to 0, we should have 2 as well. Let's differentiate the function with respect to x for the fourth time. Also copy the exponential function and copy the rest of the function to cos x minus 2 sine x. And now let's differentiate. Differentiate 2 cos x is minus 2 sin x. Differentiate minus 2 sin x is minus 2 cos x. And let's simplify. So we have e to the power of x times 2 cos x minus 2 cos x no more. Minus 2 minus 2 minus 4. And we have sin x. At point x is equal to 0 sin 0 is 0. 0 times anything we get back. Zero. Let's continue to differentiate for the fifth time. So again, by using the same method, we copy the exponential function and the rest of the function minus 4 sine x. And now let's differentiate, we should obtain minus 4 cos x. So which means that at point x is equal to 0, we have negative 4. Let's differentiate the function again with respect to x. So we have ex copy exactly the same and now copy the rest of the function minus 4 sine x minus 4 cos x x. Differentiate minus 4 sine x is minus 4 cos x. Differentiate minus 4 cos x is positive 4 sine x. And now let's simplify. So minus 4 sine x plus 4 sine x. Cancel each other no more. And this result e x times minus 8 cos x. Which means that at point x is equal to 0, we have negative 8. Since I have obtained 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 non-zero terms, so I'm going to stop here and form the Marilyn series, unless the question stated otherwise. So we have e to the power of x sine x. All we have to do here is refer to the value that we obtained at point 0. So we have 1, and this is for the first derivative, so 1 factorial x to the power of 1. We plus the second value, which is 2, and this is for the second derivative, so 2 factorial x to the power 2. Next, we have 2 as well, but this is for the third derivative, so we have 3 factorial x to the power 3. Next, we have minus 4, and this is for the fifth derivative, so we have 5 factorial x to the power 5. And we plus the next number, minus 8, and this is for the sixth derivative, so 6 factorial x to the power 6, and so on. So which means that this is equal to x plus x squared plus 1 over 3 x cubed minus 1 over 30 x to the power 5 minus 1 over 90 x to the power 6, and so on. And hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.